Hello, welcome to Math 50. I'm your professor, Professor Dina Yagadich, and I am thrilled to be teaching you this semester. Why are you here? Well, Math 50 is getting you ready for one of three classes, either Math 101A, that's Math of Foundations, or I'm sorry, Foundations of Mathematics, I think that's the name of it, with support, or Statistics with support, that's Math 120A, or Math 145S, that's College Algebra with support. Now, you might not know which of the classes you're going to, and that's okay. We have plenty of time this semester to figure it out, but that's why you're here. How are we going to get you ready for the next class? Well, we're going to use a tool called Alex. Alex is an adaptive homework system. The first day of class, you're going to take an initial assessment that's going to test you on all the material you're supposed to know this semester. So that means you might get, I don't know, a 12%, but that's okay. That's just saying, oh, you already know 12% of the material before you even started the class. After that initial assessment, you're going to be working on what's called your learning path. Everybody is going to be at a different point, so everybody will be doing different questions and different mastery topics. And at the end, by the end of the semester, we hope to get between 80% and 100%. If you get at least an 80% by the time we're all done with these learning checks, you'll go on to your next math class in the spring. You'll be all ready for that. Um, so what we'll be doing in class is occasionally we'll be doing learning checks. So again, as I said, that first day of class, we'll do an initial knowledge check. Those knowledge checks and all the homework that you're going to work, work on, no calculators. It's not scary. Sometimes you'll use a calculator, but Alex, the homework software, will pop up with a little calculator icon, and you can use it when that shows up. But other than that, no calculators. But you can use notes. You can use multiplication tables. You can use place value tables. You can use a lot of stuff to help you be successful during those learning checks. So that first initial knowledge check, you're not going to get stressed about that because, again, it doesn't count towards your grade. It just means this is where I'm starting. You're need, going to need your, um, well, a camera, and the camera is going to have to be on for those proctored knowledge checks. The initial one, um, knowledge check number two, which will be a midterm, and the final knowledge check. Those are the only three times I'm going to require you to put on your camera. Um, I could do online proctoring that the college uses. I can't remember the name of it. I find it very intrusive, so I much prefer for me to be your proctor, and I'll just watch you while you're doing your knowledge checks and during um, the Blackboard session. Other than those knowledge checks, what we're going to do in class, the beginning of class, I'll ask if there's any questions. If there are no questions, I'll go through and see where everybody's at. And if I see a topic that a lot of people are struggling with, like fractions is often one that people don't like. I'll do a mini lesson on that, and then everybody will continue working on their learning path. And as you have questions, I'll answer them in class. And near the end of class, I'll wrap things up and go over a couple more things I want you to practice before we meet again. I'm also expecting you to work on that learning path even five minutes every single day. Math is kind of like I don't know if you're trying to be a good soccer player or basketball player or swimmer. you got to practice, and you got to practice often. I'd rather five minutes every day than a half an hour every, let's see, five minutes every six days. Yeah, a little bit each day is the best bet. All right, I'm going to check my notes. So, see, I have my notes, too. You'll be allowed to have notes when you do those learning checks. And let's see, did I hit everything? Let's see, class meets Tuesday and Thursday from 5 to 6.40 p.m. It'll be in Blackboard Collaborate. And, oh, very important. For the first day of class, I want you to have on your device a picture that will you'll be using as your avatar for the semester. When I'm teaching class, if people's cameras are off, all I see are gray floaty heads. I don't really like teaching zombies. So it can be a picture of you. It could be a picture of your cat. It could be a picture of your dog. It could be 
picture of your favorite thing to eat for dinner, something that represents you so I don't have to look at gray floaty heads all semester. I'll see you all in class on Thursday. That's, um, let me check my notes again, November 7th at 5 p.m. through Blackboard Collaborate. And I'm looking forward to working with all of you this semester. Take care.